Hello, my name is Dana, and I'm just going to briefly present some, uh, some of the results of my doctoral research, which I successfully finished this year. All uh, right, so why high school students don't use small tools anymore for learning vocabulary in English? Uh, since it's a critical <laughs> call, I just chose to focus today on the critical aspects from my research. So, um, I'm going to talk about the context of the study, some brief things about the methodology, quantitative results, qualitative, and students' views on noise in general. Okay, so the study which I conducted took place uh, last year, uh, from April to June, uh, in non Romanian high schools. Uh, it involved 1,239 students, and um, aged 14, 19, all learning English as a second language. Um, one of my research questions was uh, which small and cold tools they use to learn vocabulary and also their attitudes towards the use of small and cold in learning vocabulary. So right now I'm just going to focus on this uh, aspect of the research. Okay, so it was a mixed method study. I conducted five focus group discussions with 43 students and then after the focus group discussions based on the results, I, they completed the questionnaire. Okay. Uh, quantitative results are a bit boring, <laughs> so that's it. 71% um, <laughs> had neutral attitudes, meaning neither positive nor negative. Uh, whereas 24% only had favorable attitudes towards the use of more tools to learn vocabulary, and 4.3% unfavorable attitudes. I think the qualitative results are more interesting. So these are based on the on the results from the focus group. Uh, so students use on more tools. They uh, apparently students said they prefer tools that. Uh, enable them to unconsciously learn vocabulary. So they don't really prefer tools which are vocabulary oriented. Um, more, uh, moreover, they said they, they like tools where they could learn vocabulary incidentally, such as online games or not specifically learn, learn oriented. Uh, why? Because they said vocabulary apps, I mean the ones they were familiar with, they were not challenging enough for them. They thought they are too easy and not very <laughs> interested in using them. And another reason, vocabulary appears in isolation in those kind of apps, out of context, and it, they did not find it meaningful. Okay. Also, why they don't use more tools, I mean, except dictionaries, nothing else, uh, because they see them as they see their tools as sources of entertainment. They just look at the tool as um, as a social media tool, and they can't really focus to do a single thing. They said they would be tempted to do other things, not learning. Uh, yes. Also, uh, they also said that um, not everybody, even if everybody owns a device 100%, not everybody can learn using them. So it pretty much depends on uh, their learning preferences and their learning style as well. Okay. Uh, some other reasons for which they want to use these tools is that in our schools there is no more culture or called nothing uh, set up, so students are not really encouraged to use their devices in the classroom and uh, schools don't provide the necessary equipment to infrastructure to use it. So I guess um, maybe schools should enable students to use these tools, this is what they said in school, if they want them to use them, <laughs> because on their own they won't do it. Um, also uh, it's important that they mention teachers' role in um, getting them involved to use uh, these kind of tools constructively. They said that they really need guidance, there are, there are so many apps and things available there that they just won't bother uh, searching for the best one. Um, they actually mentioned they can't make a good selection of what to use. Yeah. All right, some conclusions. So uh, it's important that they said that the use of more tools depends on their personal learning style. 
uh, they also identified issues with the uh, with the apps. Uh, the most important is that they did, they don't find them challenging enough. I mean, they, they don't feel any any learning actually occurs if they used. Uh, uh, also, there is no culture associated with these tools in schools. So, of course. <laughs> And also, uh, simply owning a device doesn't mean students will use it for learning purposes, as, as we think. Uh, most important, I think they, they need guidance and, uh, yes, students. This will probably uh, influence students' engagement in the use of more tools in the future, if, if more focus is on the teacher schools. So, uh, that was it. Thank you.